For the sign of Capricorn, hello and welcome to my channel. Okay, so this Two of Pentacles. In the recent past, you probably had a couple of main issues at front in your mind. And you probably needed to pull back from trying to pay attention to quite so many things at that time. Multitasking, it would have not been your friend in the recent past. Absolutely not with the Two of Pentacles. You probably cut down on things that you were doing in order to focus on maybe just a couple of things, or that's what you should have done. Your financial situation with this Two of Pentacles is showing that you probably needed to be more, you needed it to be more balanced. So you probably paid attention there. Now this Two of Pentacles is with the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is very optimistic. A really good card to see in a reading. This one, it comes with messages. The kind of good news messages that we all want to get and receive. This card, it tells you that things were probably going really well for you. That's what it looks like. See how he's uh, on this fish or this whale and he's charging up in the lake and his hands are up in the air and he's ready to go. Ready to go, charged up, full of action. That's probably how you were feeling in the recent past, Capricorn. Um, this card, it means good news. Particularly in the realm of matters of the heart. It would have been coming in soon for you, or it did come in really fast for you in the recent past. So, that's what we have, the Knight of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. You probably had to balance yourself um, in the recent past, and um, you had a lot of energy. You were charged up and full of energy with this Knight of Cups. Uh, maybe you wanted to uh, offer someone a, your cup of love. That's what the Knight of Cups is about. And you were coming in really fast. Or it could have just been that you had a lot of energy. And um, so much energy that you probably multitask, which was, which was not beneficial for you. It was not a good thing for you, so it caused some imbalance, and you probably realized that you needed to cut down on paying attention to so many things, because that was causing a lot of back and forth. Too many tasks, because this Knight of Cups gave you a lot of energy. So that's the recent past. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look at the present time for you. Coming up in April, we got the Hangman and the Queen of Cups. Now, the Hangman, it's showing that you might feel like you're at a crossroads. One with two kinds of options, in or out, up or down, yes or no, something like that. You could find yourself wanting to do something but have no idea what it is or how to do it. If that does happen... It's a sign that you need to stop, relax, and look at ways that you might need to let go of, t of attempts to control life. Situations, people, and things. It's possible that there could be an outdated attitude or wish that you need to let go of, Capricorns. Something that's outdated, maybe. You need to update it to the future. And I say that because any sacrifice that you make it's going to open up your life to something even more positive than what you're letting go of. Overall, this is going to be a thoughtful, reflective time for a lot of you Capricorns, particularly if you're willing to look at if or how you might best serve your own interests by being willing to change. So. That's a hangman. 
and it's paired with the Queen of Cups. Now, this Queen of Cups, it indicates a woman who will be very helpful to you coming up in April. Um, she'll remind you to bring love and compassion to your work. And that's going to be possible even if you work in a factory all day with objects rather than people. Now, things will, they'll be looking better in your working world coming up in April um, than you had been realizing. But you have to stay positive. So basically, for the present time in April, um, the hangman and the queen of cups. So you're at a crossroads. It looks like you got, you got some confusion coming up in April. Like I said, maybe you need to let go of an outdated attitude or maybe let go of an unattainable lover. That could be it also. Which will bring about the possibility that someone you can be with will be there for you. Like I said, these are only a couple of examples. But basically it's about letting go of something and being kind of stuck in your head, confused. But there's some loving energy here with the Queen of Cups. Someone is very nurturing towards you or you're, you're realizing that you have to nurture yourself. And that's the only way that you're going to get through this confusion. So maybe you're just nurturing yourself and you're healing your energy so that you could finally stop, relax, and look at different ways that you might let go of attempts to control certain things. And that's probably what you need is to nurture yourself at this time because it looks like you're, you've got a lot of confusion going on. So let's take a look at your challenge. Now we have this Two of Cups and the Two of Wands. The Two of Cups, it refers to romantic partnerships. But that's not its only connotation. It can speak of balance, friendship, joy, and sharing. This card is showing that things will be going really well. You should be feeling more than usually loved cared for and content. So it's about a very loving, balanced partnership. Possible commitment. Um, this Two of Cups is with the Two of Wands. So with this Two of Wands, it's going to be important for you to keep your balance in every way that you can, even to the mundane, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest. Also, it indicates a partnership with another person. This can be business or personal or both. It reminds us to stay mindful of the give and take required for all successful relationships. If, uh, yeah, for all successful relationships. Uh, if for some reason things are feeling out of balance, for you coming up in April. Um, just know that they're about to get substantially better with this Two of Wands in your reading. You have to remember to keep your eyes on the prize that what you're looking for and just stay positive because things will things will turn around really fast with this Two of Wands in a, in a much better way. So basically for your challenge there's a romantic love, a partnership, proposal, marriage, some type of harmony, a union, some deep connection, the, the ideal partner is coming towards you or you're with someone like that. But you have to keep your balance. Like I said, even with simple things like eating right, getting enough rest. Just to get ready for this this Two of Cups, for this ideal partner. Just to keep it going, you're going to have to um, maintain balance. So you probably need to do some planning um, 
for this connection to become more equal or to just be equal because if it's not balanced then you, it could lose its harmony and this is a really great union and if it's not with a person it could be a situation the ideal job the ideal like I said situation it doesn't necessarily have to be love if you know that this is not love for you coming up in April just the perfect situation is coming up then but you have to remember to you know keep your balance make sure you're eating right getting some exercise you know because if you don't do the things that are important then the ideal situation or the ideal partnership uh, can be thrown off too so it's all about keeping balance so that you could enjoy this perfect situation that's coming up and that's going to be your challenge so let's take a look at the outcome three of swords and five of wands now with the three of swords there's an element of some type of sadness which is undeniable when you get this card but what lies on the other side of the sorrow can be enhanced understanding and joy so allow yourself to fully experience any sorrow or pain that might come up for some of you Capricorns around April. Um, you need to do that so that you can move past it. This card it can point to maybe a deep emotional issue that needs to be addressed before you can move on. Because if you deny any pain, it's not going to make it go away. So make sure you allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up now, but don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time. However, only you're the one who can decide how long is long enough and others will not be able to do this for you. Uh, give me one second. Sorry about that. Okay, so yeah, some type of sadness you may be experiencing coming up in April. Um, it's with the Five of Wands. So this refers to romantic competition. Usually this could be work or career, but sometimes it can refer to romantic rivals. Don't be afraid of competing. Just know that you have something to offer and you can be successful. But you're going to have to try to see results. Now, when this card appears in a reading, your need to believe in yourself is going to be stronger than ever. So hold your head up high. Have faith that you're going to end up in the place that's right for you. You may be thinking of a career change. Just know that you can be successful if you try to do so. Now with this five of wands, the person that you have your eye on, they may be being pursued by several people. If this is the case, give it your best shot. You need to know that you've done all that you can for this relationship where your heart is involved. This can also work the other way around, meaning that you're the one, Capricorns, who are going to be pursued by several people interested in you romantically so for the outcome hmm, there's um, some competition going on here it could be romantic rivals your person could be being pursued by several people or you could be and it's causing some some sadness here uh, someone doesn't like the competition or someone doesn't want to compete but there's a struggle for dominance 
probably in a relationship that you're in. It could be a situation, maybe at work. There's a lot of competition and you have to fight just to stay on top. So, that's what's causing this sorrow and pain. Um, but just remember to just know that you can, you can come out on top of this competition. Um, but it's causing some sadness. Yeah, and if it's in a relationship, it can call, also cause some relationship difficulties. So, just keep in mind it's a situation or a relationship. Could be at work, people are just struggling to, to just stay there. Since we're in challenge, some challenging times. And then you gotta probably fight just to keep your foot in the door or people trying to maybe stab you in the back and you know who knows what the competition is like i said it could be work it could be a situation at home with your family but some type of struggle for dominance is there romantic rivals maybe your person that's got too many on the side maybe and it's just causing you some sadness there so that's Something that you got to work on. Um, just don't stay in the sadness for long periods of time. Because that's not a good thing to wallow in it. So that's going to be your outcome. So basically, it's a pretty simple reading. Mm, I wish it was a little bit more exciting. For the present time, you're just kind of confused about something. Some confusion. And there's a very loving, supportive person coming in towards you. So that will help. This person will help you with your being stuck in your head. Or this, could, like I said, this could be you just healing yourself. Um, and you're no longer at a crossroads. Because maybe you let go of something and you decided to heal. And then this... Um, the good thing is, the best thing I see in this reading is that, like I said, you let go and you decided to heal with this Queen of Cups. The best thing is I see is this Two of, the, uh, the Two of Cups, no, the uh, Two of Cups there with the two people. A very uh, loving partnership is coming in, and if you're with someone, it will become deeper, sweeter, much better. Um, or you just could have a the perfect ideal situation that's about to happen for you. And you just have to remember to stay balanced. Keep your head on straight. Do some exercise. Start eating right. And um, you'll enjoy this perfect ideal situation even better. And it will also help you fight off whatever competition that is. So it's all about staying balanced to um, deal with some good energy that's coming towards you and some a little bit confusing energy, challenging energy that's coming towards you, coming towards you, coming towards you.